here is the, your right oracle, which is a feature of the right atrium. Here is your right ventricle. Notice that the right ventricle narrows or tapers in this region as it comes to the beginning of the pulmonary trunk, which is right over here. This region where you get this tapering is referred to as the conus because it's shaped like a cone, the conus arteriosus. So blood that enters in through the right atrioventricular valve is going to take a U-turn right over here and as blood is squeezed out from the right ventricle is going to go through this conus arteriosus on the way out through the pulmonary trunk. So now we're going to remove the wall of the right ventricle. Right over here is the opening of the right atrioventricular valve and you can see that the cusps of this tricuspid valve are attaching to the wall, the interior wall of the right ventricle by cords. So you can see these cords here. These cords are kind of like this, the ropes or the cords of a parachute that converge on one spot right over here. These cords that are attached to the edges of the cusps of the right atrioventricular valve are called the cordi tendinii. Cordi tendinii. And you can see the cordi tendinii are going to be anchored in the wall of the right ventricle by way of muscles which kind of project into the right ventricle like a bump and these muscles are referred to as the papillary muscles. Blood that leaves the right ventricle is going to go through this conical part of the right ventricle called the conus arteriosus and it's going to exit through an opening right over here where you find a valve. And this is the pulmonary semilunar valve. If we look more closely at the pulmonary semilunar valve, you can see that it consists of three cusps, each which kind of form a half moon shape, hence the name semilunar valve. 